Hey family. <clears throat> so one of my kids is currently getting bullied at school. And I'm at the point to where I'm gonna slap the shit out of somebody's child. Maybe quiet. You know, and I'm 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 quiet for a reason. When I let people poke at me and I stay quiet for a reason. Because when I get to this side of the other of, 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 of the Kiara, you know, the, the Scorpio side, where you know, you know, Scorpio, you got two sides, you got your they so nice. Oh my god, I can't lie. I love being around them. Yeah, girl. You got that side, and then you got this side. So when you with me, then we got problems. And then I'm coming for you. <laughs> So, one of my kids is getting severely bullied at school. And I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going to slap the shit out of somebody else's kids at that school. Now, before y'all say, oh, who is this type of kid era? I don't know this type of kid era. Let me just be honest with y'all. This side of me is a side that I'm going to therapy for. And it's a side that I have been working on trying to improve. And it's a side that... I can say that I am proud that I know when and where to be this person. And it's the side that I can say that I am proud to say that I know when to turn it off and when to turn it on. So with that being said, when it comes to my kids, I will literally go to jail. Okay? So let me just tell y'all what happened. And you may be like, okay, what's the reason why you're telling y'all? Look. Y'all my family. So, I talk to y'all about any and everything. And me and y'all, we just here. So, like I was saying, one of my kids is getting severely or is getting bullied at school. And one thing I do not play with is my kids. Okay? I will literally slap the shit out of one of your kids playing with my kids. Do you hear me? Okay? So, with that being said... I've kind of noticed, like, you know, one of my kids has been, like, a little bit, indif you know, different. Like, and nothing too major. You know, they preteen, so they go do their preteen thing, right? But see, I, I, and I'm about to ram off at the mouth, but just follow me. So, I got a call because, you know, one of my daughters got into it with another kid, you know, in the beginning, she was in the wrong because she was doing something she didn't have no business doing. So, I had to address that. And if she wouldn't have did what she was doing, then it wouldn't have led to what it led to. Right? Um, because it was supposed to be a silent lunch. And it's when doing silent lunch, you're supposed to be quiet. But she was talking. And then when she was talking, another kid had butted into her conversation. And then started talking about her mama, which was me. And then, that's when it went where it needed to go. One thing I know for sure, I don't play about my kids, and my kids don't play about me. But I always tell my kids, when it comes to, for one, these kids are so freaking cruel, it don't make no sense. I have some beautiful, beautiful children. None of my kids are ugly. I have beautiful children. But one of my kids think that they're ugly because of what these kids at school has is saying and what they're doing. Like, they convinced my child that she is ugly, and she is far from ugly. She is so freaking beautiful right and i'm getting emotional because like it pisses me off that these parents is te not teaching their kids the importance of bullying other kids and how it can really do damage and harm to them kids and then if they parents is teaching them that the way that these kids set up like they really don't care and they do it anyways and then you got the other child who you bullying you got the mama like me who not gonna play and i will square up with your child and i don't care their age especially when you messing with my child or i'm gonna square up with you because don't play with my child because my child not feel to sit here and rest in peace for all the kids who have to go through this and that's why i mean so dear to me because none of my kids is about to commit suicide because these kids don't know how to not bully like i'm not playing i'm not playing them type of games i'm gonna calm down just give me one second hold on so basically 
the teachers know up in there at that school. If you ever have a problem with any of my children, call me. I will be there in 0 0.5 seconds. Because for one, I don't, my kids are not to disrespect no adult. I don't play them type of games. I don't raise my kids to disrespect a type of adult. Now, granted, respect is given, even from adults. You have to give respect to get respect. But my kids, if you hear my kids, you always hear my kids say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. That's how I raise my children. And I feel that these kids need to be raised like that too at their school. Okay? So, anywho, I forgot my train of thought. I'm so mad, y'all. Y'all just don't understand I'm so mad. And remind you, it is Valentine's Day Day. Why is my child calling me on Valentine's Day because another kid at the school bullying bullying her? So, oh yeah, I remember why I was it. So, now I'm, I'm going to post this exactly how the seals are. It's just going to be straight raw. So, y'all can really, like, get all the size of me. Like, my birthday is November the 7th. I'm a Scorpio. Like, I'm a, ve I'm a sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sweetheart. I, I treat people with respect. I treat people how they're supposed to be treated. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm a lover girl. But when you get on the other side of this Scorpio, I wish the rap. And that's the side that I, that I stay working on. But when you mess with me, like, this is the type of person I am. And this is what my, ther my therapist told me, too. I am the type of person where I give people a lot of grace, right? So, with that being said, like, I know I ran off at the mile, but, you know, still follow me, follow me. I know we had six minutes, but follow me. Um, and I'm going to get back to my daughter. I just want to get y'all an insight since you guys are following me. And I love the community that we have built. I just want to be 100% transparent about today and what we had going on. So, I will allow people to continue to poke at me, poke at me, poke at me, poke at me. And then you got that last time you poke at me, and then I'm exploding. See, that's the point. That's the part that I worked that I worked on. And that's the point you get now. This is the 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 key error where you didn't poke at me so many times, then I'm exploding. Then I have zero understanding. So my family know, don't mess with me. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. Because then you go get this other side of Kiara, which is not not the side that I'm proud of. You know, don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not proud of that. But it's the thing of stop playing with me. And right now, where I'm at is stop playing with my kids. And I hope that whoever go to my kids' school, mama's watching me, and y'all need to get y'all kids before I come and get your kid. And then I'm gonna have to get you because your kid mess with my kid. And no, I am not mentally unstable. There's nothing mentally wrong with me. I'm just that parent that cares about their child. And like, I don't want nothing to happen to my kids. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody like want to call CPS on me, like I'm doing something to my kids or when they, when people do malicious things like that, like it really, it really gets me there because it's like, bro, I got a bath for my kids. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. But anywho, so yeah, the teacher, because I let the teachers know, like, I'm the type of parent where I go to all the teachers' conference, so the teachers know, if you have an issue with my child, just call me. So the teacher had my child to call me, right? And so my, when, a, when my daughter's trying to tell me what's going on, I'm hearing other little boys in the background, like, talking about your mama this, your mama that, talking all they smack, and I can't even hear what my daughter is trying to say, because these kids are in the back, like, they won't stop. Remind you, Ashley... I went to therapy this morning, and I'm glad I went to therapy because I'm really calm. To be honest, I'm really a little bit calm, okay? So, with that being said, God knew what he was doing when I couldn't go to therapy Um, last week on one day when my therapist had to reschedule, and she's rescheduled me today. God knew exactly what he was doing, okay? So, he, he, knew, he knew something was going to happen. So, with that being said, I'm talking. I can't hear nothing she's saying. I was like, put your teacher on the phone because why is this little boy talking to you like this? Like, what, what, why can I not? You can't focus on telling me what's going on because, and then I know I'm talking fast because, yeah. But, like, I can't hear nothing you saying. Like, what's really going on? So, I put the teacher on the phone and the teacher told me what was going on. And I'm the type where if my child is in the wrong, my child going to own up to that. 
And that's just like me too. Um, I was told by somebody, well, somebody that I throw a rock and hide my head. No, baby, I don't do that. I'm going to tell you what it is and how I feel. And it is what it is. The way you feel is the way you feel. And I can set that away from you. You know? So with that being said, um, I may be quiet. You know, and I'm, 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 I'm quiet for a reason. I let people poke at me and I stay quiet for a reason. Because when I get to this side of the, of the, of the, of the you know, the, the Scorpio side where, you know, you know, Scorpio, you got two sides. You got your, they so nice. Oh my God. I can't, I love being around them. Yeah, girl. You got that side and then you got this side. So when you, with me, then we got problems and then I'm coming for you. Okay. So with that being said, then when I come for you and then I see I can't, I, I don't, I see black because you, you didn't done something to hurt me or my kids, then you the victim. But in reality, you really not the victim. You kept going, you kept going and you kept going. And then that is, it's, it's my turn. But see, that's not right because I'm not a get, I'm not a tip or tat type of person, you know? So yeah. Okay. Now let's go back to what happened with my child. So during this conversation, I'm telling y'all about what happened with my child, but then I'm also giving y'all like about me type thing. Yeah. So you can follow me. Okay. So with that being said, so I was like, all right. I put a teacher on the phone. I was like, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, and the teacher was telling me, you know, what happened, so and so, so and so. And I'm like, okay. Well, the first thing is, I'm never going to, um, if my child's in the wrong, I'm not never going to make an excuse for them. So I was like, oh, okay. So well, the first thing I said was, well, my child is wrong, Ed. It was, it was silent lunch. So my child shouldn't have been talking because y'all said it was silent lunch. Okay. That's the first thing I did. But then the second thing, okay, this child, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So, you know, I told the teacher, I said, give me three minutes. I'll be at this school. Guess how long it took me to get to that school. And it's crazy because, and I told the teacher, don't tell my child that I'm coming up there. So when my teacher's on the phone, well, so they, they gave the, the teacher gave my child back the phone, right? And then when the, the, the uh, the, uh, teacher gave my child back the phone, my child just talked to me, like, not even knowing that I'm on my way up there. So with that being said, it's crazy because my child's like, mama, you here? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm here. I said, oh, stay on the phone with me. So I walk in. And that's one thing that that school, that school, um, when I talk to the school leaders, um, that's one thing about me. I'm going to make myself known at that school. I'm in everything at the schools. I'm in the um, every field trip I go. And the reason why I go to all the field trips is because I like to have fun, too. So when my kids go to field trips, I'm going to have fun, too, you know, with that being said. And then for two, like, I don't ever want any teachers to, um, I want them to, like, know, like, my child come from a good, a good upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and my kid is not, if my kid act out, it's not because of my parenting. If my kid is acting out, you know, because y'all know that I'm the type of parent. Basically, I'm the type of parent, and I've heard this from a teacher there. Teacher taught a, a, a leader. A leader told me, man, I wish that these other kids had the type of, have the same parent as you. And I respect it. That means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, <laughs> it's funny because when I walk back there to the class or where, where my child was at, um, when we was having a talk, you know, me and the teacher, whatever the case may be, um... And, and that's a, that teacher is a good teacher. Like, this is what makes what piss me off about kids. First of all, these teachers don't want to teach y'all bad asses anyways. Okay? And that's why a lot... Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Hopefully, y'all can see me. Actually, my <laughs> memory um, card uh, was full. So, I had to come in here, remove some footage, whatever. So, let me get back to what I was saying. I don't even remember what I was just saying. But I just know that I was just, like, bitching to y'all. Um, oh, remind me what I was saying, friend. Okay. Anywho, let me just rewind. So, got that call. Oh, in the hallway, my daughter, she was like, when we was talking to see what was going on, and, you know, I addressed my daughter first um, about, you know, what was her wrongdoing. You know, I also addressed, like, you know, no kid is to bully you at the same time. I, like I told my daughter, 
And I'm going to tell this to other kids, and I hope you let your child watch it, just only this part. When it comes to these children, whatever they say does not determine the type of person that you are. You have to have a strong back. And you don't have to have a strong back. You need to grow a strong back immediately. Because these children will eat you alive. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are, intel you are intelligent. I don't care if these kids make fun about you. I don't care if they say... Oh, you look ugly or you dumb, you stupid, this is a snitch. You have to find what you love about yourself. Say those affirmations to yourself every day. And what these kids say to you, let it go. Let it go in one ear and out of the other. Do you hear me? And then what's so dumb is these kids are so, understand these kids are so materialistic. You sitting here telling my child that her Jordans are fake. And like I told my child, even if your Jordans are fake, which they're not, who cares? And they, um, and like I told my child, um, and, and the reason why it got deeper than what it got deeper is because a child said something about me and my child, knowing my kids, defended me. You know, and like I told my kids, I don't care what these kids say. They call you bald-headed. And so what? I am bald headed. I cut off all my hair. They call me fat. And so what? I am fat. I know I need to lose some weight. So what? But at the end of the day, what these kids say should not make or break you. Because you have to have the strong back and know who you are. And like I told my kids, like sometimes I ain't gonna lie, my kids do be like a little embarrassed. Y'all excuse my hat too. My kids do be like a little embarrassed sometimes, like you know, when I do come up to the school and stuff like that. Not saying that I show my ass or nothing, because as y'all can see, I don't do that. Like I conduct myself um how I'm supposed to conduct myself in a situation. Like I'm a type a flexible type of person. Like, I can go in any situation and know how to conduct myself, no matter what that situation is. Because I, I can adapt. I know how to adapt to different situations, right? So, being said, I don't know. I just feel like... Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, like, I tell them, like, my, like I tell my daughter today. When I leave, you're going to have to have a strong... You're going to have to grow your back strong. Because as soon as I go, as soon as I leave and you go back up, up in there, them kids are going to make fun of you. They are going to say something. I said, but let me tell you something. Don't be embarrassed because you want to know what's the reason why they're making fun of you. It doesn't have nothing to do with you or your mom. Them kids are making fun of you because they wish that they had a parent who can be up to this school. And two, my daughter say, you got here in two minutes and 30 seconds. Not my child counting how long it took me to get there. She said I got there in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Remind you, I probably stay like 17 minutes from school. But yeah, we're we not going to talk about that. So, I said, yeah, some, some kids wish that their mom can go on every field trip that they go on. Some kids wish that their mom, like you call me at a drop. My, my kids call me for any little thing. Any little thing. Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And when y'all, when my kids call me, I drop. There's nothing about there every time I tell me. When my kids call me, I am there in a heartbeat. And I told my child, some kids wish that they had that type of parent. They probably get into a situation at school and their parent is nowhere to be found. Their parents do not come and their parents are not there. So that child has to doesn't feel safe and protected you feel safe enough that you know if something going on i'm about to call my mama some kids do not feel that way so that's not something that you need to be ashamed about that's something that you need to be prideful about and you need to understand that those kids are making fun of you because they wish that they had that it's a there is jealousy it's not because, oh, your mama lame or, oh, you lame, this and this and that. No, it's because those children, they're projecting their anger of what they don't have onto you. So they're trying to make you feel bad. Do not feel bad. Be prideful. Be happy. 
And then like I told my child too, I do not condone my child to fight, okay? I do not, and like I told you in front of the teachers and in front of administrators, I do not condone my child to fight. But if my child is getting bullied, they tell the teacher, first thing they need to do is tell the teacher, okay? But if my child continues to get bullied, I told the administrators, my child is to defend themselves. Now, we do not go looking for trouble. That's the one thing we do not do. But if a child puts their hands on you, you wear their ass out. And I ain't playing. I'm not fussing at you. I promise I'm not fussing at you. But you get what I'm saying? And I know I'm not the only, mo um, only mother that feel this way. And I know I'm not a crazy mama for feeling this way. Because these kids are lethal. And I be damned. And like I went in that classroom and I said, and I ain't scared to say that I said it. I told them kids, you mess with mine, I will slap the shit out of you. I ain't playing. And then I'll fight your mama too. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. I know I'm not the only parent that feel this way. Like, let me know in the comments, like, I know I'm not the only parent that feel this way. And you know something? I probably shouldn't say all the things that I'm saying because this could probably get used against me. But at the same time, if you're a parent and your child is getting bullied and you've done everything in your power, that's one thing. I don't need help when it comes to that situation of my child getting bullied. Because at the end of the day, them teachers at that school know me. You know what I'm saying? So when it's an issue, I go to the front. I go to the head. You feel me? And they handle it. Because they already know. When they see me walk through that building, it's not that. It's one of those things where they be like, what happened? Or they ask, they, they, they give my child that undivided attention that they should, that they should be give that she needs to be given. Because one, like I, I always, even if you're a hardworking mama that can barely get to school, I advise y'all take one day off and go to that school and make your presence known. Hey, this is my child. This is how I parent. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see how I'm, I'm, I'm cold switching. I'm, I'm going to a whole different person. Not crazy, y'all, okay? What I believe in, you know, ask questions. Okay, if my child is getting bullied, then what are you guys' protocol? Okay, if my child has an accident at school, what is you guys' protocol? I'm telling you, them, that school, the leaders at that school, they will appreciate you. And they will make sure that nothing happens to your child and your child is getting taken care of well. Getting taken care of well, baby, okay? So they already know at that school. Mm, not mine's. Mine's gonna get bullied who? Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> who child? Who? What happened? Oh, not mine's. Yeah. Not mine's. Mm mm. I ain't never been to jail. But I will go for mine's. I don't care who you is. I'm in my bed, too, by the way. Yeah, I'm just still rimming up for the mouth. This is going to be a long video, so uh, just bear with me. So, yeah, anywho, man, and that's another thing, too. Like I was saying, that teacher, man, that teacher is a good teacher. And it's another reason why our kids, is, is the system is failing our kids. And I'm not going to put all the blame on the system because it be them kids, too. For real, though. You be having these good teachers that really have the passion, that really have the love and want to teach your child. But you have those kids that are so darn bad. And that takes away from that. And it leaves them kids, them teachers to be depressed. It's these good teachers out here that don't want to be teachers because of your kid. Get your kid in order. Them teachers to come in there, be able to teach my child, your child, and all 30, 40, 58 other kids. That child should, that teacher should not be a good teacher and should be getting treated bad. Now, the teachers that are bad, that's the teachers that need to be getting treated bad. But it be the good teachers that get treated bad. And I understand why these teachers is not teaching these kids. So, yeah. I walked up in there and I told them kids, y'all need to treat Miss, this this teacher. I'm gonna say the teacher name. Y'all need to treat this teacher better than what y'all treating these teachers, cause this teacher don't deserve this. And I said, tell your mama I said that. I mean, it's okay to be other kids' parents, right? 
<laughs> Only if you mean well. And you ain't saying nothing wrong, right? I can say nothing wrong. I mean, they need to stop cheating them teachers the way that they treat them, right? Like, it don't make no sense. These, te these teachers come. And like I told my daughter, too, like, I didn't even have to tell my child. As soon as the conversation was over, I told my child, okay, when you go back in class, I'm telling you now, you better build. You better build thick skin on your back. Because once you go back in them class, them kids are going to make fun of you. When you go back in the class, them kids are going to say something to you. But I ask first, ask the administrator, do I need to go ahead and take my child or leave my child? And they recommended for me to leave my child. All right, cool. So I let my child know. But they said, you may get a call back and it's not going to be because of your child did something. It's because the kids may do something to your child and they won't stop and then it come. And I'm like, hey, that's fine. As long as you know, when them kids do something to my child... And it come, it come now, my child going to carry her on. Believe that. Believe that. Because I'm carrying my eyes. Hmm. 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 Huh. Huh. So. Yeah, I just want to let y'all know what happened today. And the, the, the moral of the story is. Parents. Have a talk with your kids about bullying and how to grow a strong back. And that's another reason why my therapist recommended for me to do these one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that I did do these one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one um, -on -one days for my kids to, um, you know, it, it also helps with building their self-esteem. Because when you have multiple children, you know, you try to be everywhere at one time and you really can't be. Um, and you, it's, 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 it is very hard to give every child when you have multiple kids like that special attention that they need. So doing these one-on-one -on -one sessions, one-on-one, I keep saying sessions, doing these one-on-one -on -one dates, you know, it does help build that confidence in your child. So I'm glad that I am doing my part and doing what I need to do. Um, but anywho, like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, I am doing, don't, oh, well, why you keeping them in that school? Baby, I didn't enroll to put them in a whole different school. I'm just waiting to see if they gonna get accepted. And if they not gonna get accepted, then hey, we just, um, what we gonna do is, like, I'm working with my kids, hey, gotta have that strong back. Now, one of my kids, I ain't got no problem. Because if you say something to her, oh, it's over with. You're going to probably wish that you ain't never said nothing to her. And I ain't probably ain't got to tell y'all which child is which because y'all already know. But, anywho. Happy Valentine's Day, family. I just want to come here and vent because I don't have nobody to vent to right now. Get y'all and let y'all know, like, these kids are cruel and mean. And it's just, you have to teach your child how to love themselves and you just have to give your child the tools and equip them on loving themselves and because these kids will tear your child up having the most beautiful child think that they're the most ugliest child and they're the most beautiful child in the world beautiful and then that's another thing my child uh was like it be the kids where their parents is rich and they got it, they got this and they got that. I'm like, Skrr. you living bad? Yo, yo, have your life? You living bad? Now my kids don't probably know the struggle, but my kids are spoiled. They probably don't have it all, but they are spoiled. Actually, my therapist told me my kids are too spoiled. That's the issue. Like, baby, I will buy your shoes off of DH Gates. And you still be looking better than some of them kids. That's popular. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Come on, baby. Don't play with me. I'm going to get up out here, y'all, because I know this video is probably like 30 minutes or something like that. Yeah, this video is pretty long. But like I said, I'm going to say it again. Long story short, talk to your kids about the importance of not bullying other kids. Even the kids who do not have everything. 
you are still somebody. You are still special. You may not have it all, but you are smarter than them kids. When you get older, you probably have a gift in the inside of you. Don't let them kids rob you from the gift that God has given you. God has given you something special in the inside of you. Rather, if that's being an awesome cook. You could be a famous chef. Rather, if that's a draw, a, you can draw. God has given you something that you should not let any child rob from you because you are special. So I tell my kids. And then, even if you type parent that don't believe in fighting, I'm telling you, get your child in some type of defense, boxing, something. It may not be your child. And I know you don't want your child to fight. Them kids, your child have to have you know, some type of way to protect themselves. I'm sorry, that's just the world that we live in right now. Am I? I just pray to God that my child's sister don't hear about what happened. Because then my other child may be going to try to go look for the other kid. And, 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 and then, then I'll be, be at that school for that child. So do y'all see how this like whole situation can just cause a domino effect? Because y'all don't be knowing who these, these kids' siblings is and how these siblings feel about these kids. But my daughters may not, I always say they can't stay in each other. They oil and water, oil and vinegar, whatever. But at the end of the day, when one person mess with my one of their siblings, oh, best to believe the other one coming for you. I don't know if I should be proud of that. I know, like, I'm not proud of my kids fighting. I'm proud that they don't allow other people to harm their sibling. Then let me know that you love you, you love your sibling, your sister a little bit. You know. All right, y'all. All right, family. Well, that's the end of today's vlog. Um. I will let y'all know I haven't got a call yet. So that's an amazing thing. Because like I told that teacher, I got, like my daughter said, I got down here in two, two minutes and 30 seconds. The next call I get, I'm going to be down here in two minutes. Okay? And then teacher start laughing. Yeah. But, um, happy Valentine's Day family. I know I said this a lot of time. I don't know how you're feeling for Valentine's Day, but I'm really not feeling Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? But we getting through it, you know? Yeah. Um, and this is just a day in the life of what, what kind of happens, you know? I don't really too much show you guys this side, so I don't know if you guys want to see this side or really see, like, daily lifestyles like this. But if so, just let me know in the comments. If you want me to open up a little bit more, you get to see a little bit more of me. You know, just let me know. All right. Love y'all. Bye!